Hello mga kids! It's once again our blessed Sunday! Magandang araw at magandang buhay! Wow! This is the first Sunday of December! At tulad ng nakagisnan natin mga tradisyon, ang December ang masayang panahon ng kapaskuhan. Kaya alam ko na kahit nasa gitna tayo ng pandemya, ay excited pa rin ang mga bata. Lalo pa ngayon, di ba, ay unti-unti nang pinapayagan ang mga bata na lumabas. Pero lagi pa rin mag-iingat, magpalakas ng katawan, at sumunod sa mga paalala tulad ng pagsusuot ng face mask, at social distancing. Tandaan, wala pang bakuna sa mga bata, kaya limitahan lang ang pamamasyal para mas ligtas. Okay ba yun? At kahit nga busy tayo sa mga kaabalahan tulad ng online schooling at mga module, kapag Sunday ay huwag tayong makakalimot sa ating Sunday habit. Tuloy-tuloy lang para laging connected kay God. Ako si Teacher April at welcome sa RBS Online! So be sure to stay on your seats, watch, and listen! Handa na ba kayo? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Simulan natin ang ating programa sa pananalangin. At kapag tayo magpa-pray, tandaan lagi ang Diyos ang ating kausap. Kaya't ipikit natin ang ating mga mata, tumungo at damhin ang presensya ng ating Panginoon. Dear Papa Jesus, thank you for all your blessings that you've given us every day. Please guide us in our duties and responsibilities at home and our studies. Most especially guide us in our RBS Kids activities today and always. These are all our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Tara na at tayo ay sumayaw at umawit ng papuri sa ating Diyos. Isang Christmas song and dance ang sasayawin ng ating mga kids. Sumabay tayong lahat ha! Sundan natin ang The Best Present Ever!
Dahil sa kapaskuhan, ang ating Bible Memory Verse ay tiyak na pamilyar na sa ating lahat. Ang John 3.16 Magandang balikan natin at i-memorize ito palagi sa ating puso dahil ang kapanganakan ni Jesus ay hudyat ng plano ng ating Diyos na pagliligtas dahil mahal niya tayo. Pakinggan natin at sabayan. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Hindi ko na pahuhulaan ang ating magiging lesson for today. I'm sure alam na alam nyo na ito at master nyo na ang tungkol sa kapanganakan ni Jesus. Tunay nga na ang kwento ng buhay ni Jesus ay mababasa sa Gospel sa New Testament. Naalala niyo ba kung ano ang four Gospel? Ito ay ang Matthew, Mark, Luke at John. Gospel means the good news dahil wala nang mas iba pang pinakamabuting balita kundi ang pagdating ng ating Mesiyas na tagapagligtas na si Jesus Christ. Alam niyo nung bata ako, akala ko ang Christmas story ay nagsisimula lang sa pagbabalita ni Angel Gabriel kay Maria. Pero, alam niyo ba na si Jesus ay hindi lamang sa New Testament natin mababasa? Hindi pala nagsimula lang ang kwento ni Jesus sa New Testament kundi ating babalikan at ikutrace na si Jesus ay nasa Old Testament mula pa sa simula ng Bible. Mula pa sa unang libro ng Genesis sa Old Testament ay may mga hindi hayag o hindi gaano ka-obvious na mga Bible passages na nandun na mismo si Jesus mula sa simula. At ito ang nais kong matuklasan natin ngayon sa araw na ito na ang buong Bible mula sa Old Testament hanggang sa New Testament ay nagtatahi-tahi ng kwento ng pag-ibig ng Diyos na tinupad niya sa katauhan ni Jesus Christ. Sa creation story ay mababasa natin sa Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1 ito ang sabi In the beginning The Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Si Jesus ang tinutukoy dito. Sa beginning or sa pasimula pa lamang ay kasama na ng Diyos Ama, ang Diyos Anak na si Jesus. Naalala nyo ba na sa paglikha ng Diyos ay gumagamit siya ng salita at ang salita na yon ay si Jesus mismo. At kung mapapansin ninyo, ang Diyos Ama ay may kausap habang siya ay naglilikha. Sabi nga sa Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, And God said, Let us make man in our own image. Tumutukoy siya sa atin na ibig sabihin ay na hindi siya nag-iisa sa kanyang paglikha. Kasama niya dito si Jesus, kasama niya ang salita. Sinabi din sa Colossians chapter 1 verse 16, For by Jesus, all things were created. Nang ginawa ng Diyos ang tao, ang tao ang pinaka-espesyal na nilalang sa lahat. Ang plano ng Diyos ay mahalin tayo at makasama sa magpakailanman sa langit. Pero pumasok nga ang kasalanan. Nagkasala si Adan at si Eva. Ang kasalanan ang nagpahiwalay sa tao sa Diyos. At ang parusa ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. Ang susunod na pagtukoy ng tungkol kay Jesus sa Genesis ay nang magkasala si Adan at si Eva. Sa Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, may nabanggit dito ang pahayag na ipapanganak si Jesus sa isang babae upang kalabanin si Satanas at para iligtas ang tao sa parusa ng kamatayan. Matapos na pumasok ang kasalanan, nabuo na ang plano ng Diyos upang iligtas ang mga tao. Kaya mula sa simula pa lang ay nabuo na ang salvation plan at yan lahat ay nagkaroon ng katuparan sa araw ng kapanganakan ni Jesus. At yan nga ang sinaselebrate natin tuwing kapaskuhan. Alalahanin na ang kapanganakan ni Jesus ay hudyat ng pagsisimula ng kaligtasan na matagal na pinangako 
at matagal na hinintay ng mga tao. Sa mga aklat ng Old Testament, maraming propeta ang nagsaad ng pagdating ng isang misiyas o tagapagligtas. Jesus is the promised Savior. Ang kwento ni Jesus ay maipagtatahi-tahi mula sa simula ng Bible Hanggang sa dulo nito, ang lahing pinagmulan ni Jesus ay mula sa mga nakilala natin sa Old Testament na si na Abraham at si Haring David sa kanilang lahi ay darating ang tagapagdiktas na si Jesus. Panoorin natin ang ating Bible story sa araw na ito. Christmas is when we celebrate God's fulfillment of a promise to send us a Savior. This gift wasn't a surprise, but something people had been waiting many years to receive. The promise of Christmas began with a man named Abraham. God promised Abraham that he would have a descendant and that this descendant would be a blessing to all the nations. When the apostle Matthew wrote the story of Jesus' life, He said that Jesus was the son of Abraham. Not only did Matthew say Jesus was a descendant of Abraham, he also said that he was a descendant of King David. Many years before Jesus' birth, the prophet Isaiah promised that Jesus would reign on David's throne. However, Unlike any king or other political leader, Jesus would rule with justice and righteousness forever. The prophet Micah foretold that Jesus would be born in the small town of Bethlehem. Micah said that even though Bethlehem was small, the child born there would rule over all of Israel. This ruler, though not yet born, would come from ancient origins. The prophet Isaiah had a lot to say about Jesus' birth. God told him that the promised Messiah would be born in the most miraculous way. He would be born to a virgin through the power of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah said that Jesus would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Isaiah went on to tell us more about this Emmanuel and the greatness that was to come. The Savior would be called Wonderful Counselor, the source of all wisdom, Mighty God, the Creator of all things, Everlasting Father, the source of all life, and Prince of Peace, the one who will make all things right. Unfortunately, not all the prophets had good news about how the Savior's life would play out. Some people would reject him, The prophet Jeremiah said that Jesus' life would be in danger when he was born. And the prophet Hosea said that Jesus and his family would have to flee to Egypt for a time to escape the murderous plots against him. Jesus' birth and life fulfilled all of these prophecies, as well as the most incredible one of all. The prophet Isaiah said, that Jesus would be a servant who would suffer for the sins of the world. He would give his life so that anyone who believes in him could be saved from sin. At Christmas, we celebrate the promised gift of salvation given to us by God through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. In the land of Israel, There was a young woman named Mary and a man named Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter by trade and he loved Mary. The two were engaged to be married. They weren't rich or powerful, but they were righteous and obedient people and God had a very special plan for them. One day, an angel came to Mary to tell her about God's plan. The Lord is with you, Mary, he said. You have favor with God, and you will have a baby boy. His name will be Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. 
he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and there will be no end to his kingdom. The angel assured her that the baby would be conceived by the Holy Spirit and not by her soon-to-be husband, Joseph. When the angel left, Mary could hardly believe what had just happened. The Messiah would be born to her? She would be the one? This was the most amazing news. But there was a problem. Mary was going to have a baby, even though she and Joseph weren't yet married. What would people think? Joseph became very worried. After all, he was a man who always tried to do the right thing. He was afraid that he might have to end his engagement to Mary. But one night, God gave Joseph a dream. In the dream, an angel spoke to him and said, Don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby in Mary is a miracle from God. She will have a son, and you shall call him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. But there was another problem. The emperor of the land, Caesar Augustus, sent out a law that everyone should be counted in the international census. Every single citizen was required to go to their hometown, and that included Joseph and Mary. Their hometown was Bethlehem, and even though Mary's due date was soon approaching, they began the long and difficult journey to Bethlehem. Mile after mile they traveled. It was very uncomfortable for Mary as her labor pains grew more intense. She was happy that she would be delivering a baby boy, none other than Jesus. But things were hard. She was on a long journey, and she knew that the baby was going to come any minute. When they finally arrived in Bethlehem, there was no place for them to stay. All the hotels and houses were filled up. They couldn't find a single room, not even for a mother who was about to have a baby. There was only one place left, a barn for animals. There in that stable, surrounded by the animals, the savior of the world was born. They took Jesus, wrapped him warmly in cloths, and used a manger as his bed. One day, this little baby boy would hang on the cross for the sin of all mankind. That night, in the cool, dark fields surrounding Bethlehem, there was a group of shepherds taking care of their sheep. An angel appeared in the sky and announced, I bring you good news of great joy for everyone. Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Then a whole choir of bright angels lit up the night sky and sang a beautiful song. Immediately, the shepherds went into Bethlehem and worshipped Jesus. Thousands of miles away, in the foreign lands of the East, a group of wise men heard about the news of Jesus' birth, too. They followed a star. The bright star led them to the land of Israel. They knew that a king was going to be born, so they went to the leader, Herod. We have come from the east to worship the one who has been born king of the Jews. Herod was concerned. He hadn't heard of this. A king? But I'm the king. Sure enough, there was a prophecy. This was the Messiah, promised thousands of years before. Herod told the wise men to find this king and then bring the news back to him so he could worship the king too. But Herod didn't want to worship the king. He wanted to kill him. The wise men left Herod's palace and saw the star moving again. This time, it led them right to the house of Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem. There they met the young child, growing up in the home of the carpenter and his wife. They worshipped him and brought him beautiful gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh all gifts fit for a king. God warned the wise men in a dream that they should not tell Herod where to find Jesus, so the wise men returned home a different way. Jesus' birth was the fulfillment of many old prophecies. His life, death, and resurrection would become the cornerstone of our faith. The world would never be the same.
ating subukin ang inyong kaalaman tungkol sa storya ng kapanganakan ni Jesus. Sagutan natin ang ating Bible Quiz for Kids Christmas Trivia.
Marami tayong matututunan sa storya ng kapanganakan ni Jesus. Big idea number one. Tayo ang dahilan kaya ipinanganak si Jesus. Sabi nga sa John 3.16, ganun na lamang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tao. Big idea number two. Ang pagdating ni Jesus sa mundo ay para idigtas tayo sa kasalanan. Ginawa yun ng Diyos dahil mahal niya tayo. Big idea number three. Maniwala tayo kay Jesus. Ngayong Pasko, sipin natin ang ibinigay ni Yesus sa atin na kaligtasan. Kaya gawin natin siyang hari ng ating buhay. Ang ating Christmas craft ay isang stained glass sun catcher na TVT decor. Nagustuhan niyo ba ang ating arts and crafts ngayong araw na ito? Maaari niyong i-share ang video or picture ng inyong ginawang stained glass nativity decor. Sabayan niyo rin ang panalangin upang malaman ng lahat na ang kapanganakan ni Jesus ang tunay na diwa ng Pasko. Pakinggan naman natin ngayon ang isang espesyal na Christmas song mula kay Iyana Emanuel Aragosa. More than the gifts I open More than all the toys that come my way Nothing compares to what we celebrate today Savior in a manger A king with humble splendor who came to Save the world that gave eternal life to me and you. Like the star that was shining brightly, leading the shepherds. It is love that embraces one and all. or Once again, it's Christmas. I have the only gift I know. I may be just a child, but I know this much is true. The king in humble splendor would be born in just a manger. If I give my life, just give it all to you. You'll be born in my heart too. When I awake tomorrow, Christmas need not take another year. He made a promise that The shepherd now is calling the sheep to join the herd. Jesus, once again, it's Christmas. I give the only gift I know. I might be just a child, but I know. Be born and just a manger. If
if I give my life just to give it all to you. You'll be born in my heart too. You'll be born in my heart too. Happy birthday, Jesus! Special announcement! Sa darating na December 24, ay magkakaroon tayo ng Jose Olonga Pusambales RBS Christmas Special 2021. At ang tema natin ay Born with the Queen! Sana ay magkasama-sama tayo muli sa bisperas ng Kapaskuhan upang lahat ay magbigay ng kanya-kanyang talento at ito ang ating Christmas gift para sa ating tagapagligtas na si Jesus na pinanganak sa araw ng Kapaskuhan. Merry Christmas! Ating pakinggan at sayawin ang theme song ng ating RBS Christmas Special, ang Born is the King. sa pagtatapos ng ating programa. Ang bilis ng oras, di ba? Sana ay na-enjoy natin ang ating Bible story, ang ating mga arts and crafts, ang ating mga papuri sa Diyos, at ang ating special number. Tara at sasamahan tayo ni Angela para sa closing prayer. Maraming salamat po sa 
sa oras na ito at kami po ay makapag RBS online sa linggong ito. Nagsisimpleng gabay po ito sa aming araw-araw na pamumuhay. I-bless mo po ang RBS online ministry para marami ang ma-bless sa panonood nito. Pinupuri at pinasasalamatan ka namin sa mga blessing mo sa aming. Tulungan mo po kami sa aming pag-aaral at pangangailangan ng aming pamilya. Ingatan mo po ang aming kalusugan laban sa COVID-19. Sana po ay matapos na ito. Lahat ng ito ay padalangin namin sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. So this is it mga kids! Maraming salamat sa pagsama sa akin ngayong linggo sa RBS Online. I-share niyo din ang ating video upang marami pang makaalam ng tunay na kwento ng Kapaskuhan. God is happy that you give time to listen to His words and to praise and glorify His name. Kita-kita muli tayo sa susunod na linggo. God bless you! Bye!